Hello everyone. We are live three o'clock. We just did a little test run before this and oh my gosh, there were so many people here. I should have just kept it because I hate it saying goodbye, but um, welcome everyone. Hello, hello. So excited to uh, kick things off today with Megan Klingenberg. Um, you know what I didn't do? Let me try to pin this. What is it? How's everyone doing? I'm just gonna try to pin this right now while everyone just trickles in. Can't wait to chat with Megan. And there you go. Let me do a soccer emoji because hello, we have to days of Megan post. And let me pin this. And there you go. Hello everyone. How are y'all doing? Hey Gabriella. Hi JB. Thank y'all so much for joining us. Get your uh, your questions yet. Megan just texted me. She said, are you live yet? So what happens if I text her back? Is it going to kick me off? Because I don't, I've never texted someone back. So, oh, there she is. <laughs> yes, Megan. I was trying to figure out if I should text you or not. Um, let's get everyone in. Hello, everyone. And I have a, a request. I hope you all have questions ready. Megan's probably like the best person to ask questions to. And yeah, so let me get her in here. I should be a pro by now. But technology, man. Let's see. All right. Waiting for Megan. It says waiting. Connecting. There she is. Hey, Seth. How are you? Uh, you know, yeah. quarantined. Quarantining. <laughs> well, yeah. I know, right? Like, what do you say nowadays? I have people say, hey, what's going on? I'm like. Legit nothing. On my couch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A long time. I miss you. Yeah, you too. How are you? Good. Yeah, just uh, chugging along, you know, trying to make sure that, yeah, we, uh, survive this thing right write it out doing my best yeah yeah are back you in portland or you're back home uh i'm in i'm in portland can't be okay. you know going anywhere so i was yeah. thinking i was like oh if i want to go home you know i'd have to drive three days to get there so i've been yeah. pretty stuck here yeah oh i'm sorry are you how's Houston? your family i'm in houston yeah yeah I um, I keep joking around with my sister-in-law and my brother that I should have quarantined with them when I had the chance Yeah. because I would have been with my nephew, you know, yeah. who now he just ignores me. <laughs> like he does, yeah. like I fa we FaceTime and he just looks at me like, <laughs> well, he's you? mad. He knew you yeah. had a chance to come quarantine and then you didn't. So he's mad. I didn't. So get away. <laughs> yeah, he's mad. Move along. Have you been doing, um, or hold on let me turn this up so I can barely barely hear you um what have you been doing to keep busy oh <laughs> good questions um geez let me look around I've been puzzling <laughs> do you okay. want to see my puzzle absolutely okay I'll show you my puzzle. of course <laughs> yes yeah, so um I, go, I try and put them all in like pile like color piles right right and then put them together over here and then it's supposed to look like it's supposed to look can you see that yeah like all the oh it's like it's like it's books yeah it's books yeah <laughs> wait how's it going let me let me see what you've done oh just this just like this much so far okay okay so, okay so not, not much it? yet yeah, yeah yeah it is fun it when is did fun, you start not, not long ago, ago yesterday okay oh that's that's good well I've gotten really hard I mean <laughs> not really hard I've gotten like really good at these hard puzzles yeah. because because I've done like six of them so far because I'll just like put on some music or whatever in the background and then just like do these puzzles and I, what I found is like it's really gratifying because you like put a little piece in and you're like Ooh. 
<laughs> you know, yes. like yeah. you get the endorphin rush. It's like it's kind of addicting. It's it's nice. So yeah. that's that's what I'm, I've been trying to keep like the brain the brain going. I and... do remember that about you. You always love to do challenging things. You really <laughs> do. You do. I, I remember that. Yeah. yeah, I mean I, I don't know, but like I can't be sitting here all by myself. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. doing nothing. That okay. I would go insane. Do you have a room or is your roomie gone? No roomie. I live I live by myself. By Oh, oh my gosh, where have I been? Yeah, last time I, I remember you had a, I'm pretty sure you had a roommate. No, Maybe. no, I don't have any roommates. No, 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 I've been living by myself for like five, this is my fifth year. Yeah. But it's, um, I mean, it's, I love it most of the time, but right. like right, <laughs> right about now, I've realized how much like I love being around people. Cause like I would, I would usually spend my days like, like going to see friends or like getting coffee with them or doing work with them or doing all these different things. And now, um, you're in silence. <laughs> now I'm like legit, just like all, all by myself. And I'm like, I can't handle this. So, oh my gosh. Yeah. I so we just had a question. I, we have so many questions right now. Okay. Um, yeah. On, do you miss the games or the fans? Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like that's a crushing blow. Um, playing. I mean, I love playing in general. So I would play even if there were like no, like, yeah. like yeah. you know, Absolutely. I just love to play. So like, I would play when nobody's watching, but like having people watch and cheer makes it, a thousand times better, a million times better, if infinitely better. So I really miss that a lot because um, like doing your favorite thing and then have people clapping for you doing your favorite thing is, is like a, is like something not a lot of people experience, you know, and I feel really lucky to be able to do that week in and week out. And then when you don't get that, it's like, it's like you realize there's this huge hole in your heart. So yeah. yeah. And um, something else, too, that I, I was talking to someone about this yesterday was, you know, you kind of um, got to, you know, your hopes up, you know, season's about to be here, you're ready. And then all of a sudden, just, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, wiped it out. Yeah. Um, Kayla wants to know if we can say happy birthday, Kayla. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, okay, Kayla. Happy, <laughs> Happy birthday. birthday, Kayla. <laughs> I hope it's a wonderful one. I'm sorry you're stuck in quarantine, but just know people are thinking about you, and if they could be there, they probably would. Exactly. I love it. Yeah. We definitely would be there for sure. Oh, yeah. Well, if there's, well uh, I'll put a caveat there. Like, if there's cake, I would be there. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. Um. Georgina wants to know what was your favorite game played? Favorite game? <clears throat> favorite game ever? Yeah. Tough uh, one. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I honestly don't know. Um, one of my favorite games ever, though, was playing in the U20 World Cup. And we played against North Korea in the finals. Oh. And we won 2 1. But it was, it was just like, so much fun because um I was like playing with all of my friends it felt like like the fam like the fam took the field and we had each other's backs and 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 won and so that was a really cool feeling that is really really hard to replicate yeah I like that answer that's a good one um someone asked how's her hair doing since we can't get haircuts <laughs> why you might have said that hat on it Hey, why do you think I got a hat on? There, it's not going well. It's not going well. But, <laughs> but I value. I'm trying to value people's lives over my um, my looks. So, uh -huh. <laughs> hopefully, exactly. like, yeah. The, this, ha but like, honestly, I don't know. Like, it's it's you know the little curl cues are looking all right. I like it. Right. You always have good hair. Stop oh. being so modest. <laughs> oh my god. That's gosh. like that's like Stop your. Stop from blushing. <laughs> Duh. Um, favorite Swiss player, the real <laughs> Sonia. Favorite Swiss player, like soccer player. Okay, uh, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> my, yeah. My faves are uh, Anna Sernogorchevich and Lara Dickman. Actually, like Leah 
Walty as well. She's okay. pretty legit. So it's nice. I mean, you wouldn't think that like such a tiny country had such good players, but they do. And and but like obviously, Anna gets the, you know, the top spot because mm-hmm. you know she, she was in Portland and like we right. miss her. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Maro LM wants to know who do you think you connect with the best on the pitch? Who's your field partner in crime? Oh, connect with best on the pitch. My yeah. gosh, like a psychic connection. Yeah. Um, honestly, <laughs> I'm, re- I'm really excited for the season because Becky Sauerbrunn is back uh-huh. on the team. And, yeah, that's uh, right. Yeah, and yeah. I always felt like me and Becky had a really awesome connection on the pitch. And probably it's probably all due to Becky being a world-class player and has nothing to do with me. Like, <laughs> she just – she has my back. <laughs> She reads yeah. all of my, my crazy um, runs forward and covers for me and is just like a kick-ass player in general. So I'm really stoked to have have her back. I love that. I do remember we did an interview after um, World Cup 2015. And I think one of the questions was, who do you think was kind of like the – MVP player I think you said you said her it, it was the same thing and it was like a cute picture of y'all hugging uh, <laughs> well there you go I remember it Love yeah it. there you go yeah no like uh Becky like we've played together a really long time at this point and she it'll probably take a little bit of time to get back on the same page but she just knows what I'm gonna do and I know what she's gonna do and when you know somebody that well it's just really nice to like you know I'm sure we'll just pick up where we left off. At least I'm hoping. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Love Becky. Um, Courtney wants to know, favorite Netflix show at the moment? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be anything like Tiger King or Too Hot. Did, you, did like. you watch it, though? Did you watch yeah, it? Yeah, of course I did. But it was it was more just like, I'm watching this because I, I want to be able to talk yeah. to my friends about it. When so, they're talking about it on our Zoom happy hours, not yeah. because you I'm want it. Things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> also, I, I do think that Carol Baskin is she. I guilty. don't know. Yeah, I think she's probably guilty too. She, yeah, she's she's a nut job. Um, but but anyways, I I really 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 like Sex Education on Netflix. Have you seen okay. that? No, but I've I've actually it's on my to watch list. Oh, you have to watch it. It's, so good. Yeah, it's so good. So um, it's like about this kid named Otis, and he's in high school, and his mom's a sex therapist, sex and relationship therapist. And basically, he takes on that role for the students at his school. And it kind of that's how the sh- yeah, that's how the, the show kind of like moves forward. But it's just really, really heartwarming. Um, but it's, it's pretty real, too. And, and it made me it made me laugh. So that's what I'm watching. And then I've been catching up on all the vampire diaries. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly I'm watching all like all things that are gonna make me smarter. So Of course. Absolutely. I mean you have yeah. to in quarantine. Absolutely. Yeah. Um Except, I gotta say uh-huh. that you ha- you haven't asked me the most important question yet. Macaroons? <laughs> no, but close. That's that's top five. Um no, like you didn't ask me what day it is. I thought, what day is it, Megan? <laughs> yeah, you didn't ask. I don't know. What I mean, day is it? Um, it's really hard for me to keep track. The only reason <laughs> I know that it is a Wednesday, the right. only reason, is because I get donuts on Friday. Okay. Every, pretty much every Friday. So I, that's like kind of my my thing now. Is like I reward myself by getting through the week with donuts. Oh, I like that. And actually. My friends in the building, they, they've they actually thought this is such a good idea that now I have, like, two or three others getting donuts with me at, this, at the same time. Like, we, we get them delivered. Yeah. Oh, that's so. Nice. Basically, the only reason I know it's Wednesday, <laughs> Wednesday is because it's two days from donut day. You know what? Let me – can I – I wonder if I can fix my pin. I should add a donut emoji. <laughs> yeah, that'd be Let's smart. see if I can do that without deleting mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I like the reward thing. I should yeah. start doing that. Every Friday, I'll get something. Yeah, maybe a macaroon or macaroon from maybe a donut. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so fun, fun story. Side note. Yeah. I forgot what year it was. 
but <laughs> you guys were playing in San Antonio. Obviously, I was in Houston. Yeah. And I was going to cover the game, interviews, blah, blah, blah. And we were going to drive there, three-hour drive. So I text Meg, and I'm like, hey, do you need me to bring anything from Houston? And she's like, <laughs> macaroons. And I'm like, oh, yeah. She's like, no, I'm being serious. I was like, okay. I'm like, how many do you want? A dozen. <laughs> okay. What flavors? Surprise me, but definitely lavender. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I remember that. Yeah, and then I know. show up to the hotel. I'm like, here's your Max. Oh, my God. I was so happy. Oh, my That's gosh. So are, you still, are you still obsessed with macaroons or... Um, like, yes, but the problem is, uh, I went, I started eating vegan four years ago and turns out nobody around here makes any vegan macaroons, but if they did, I'd be chowing them. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. believe that. <laughs> um, Joe asked, are you scared to go grocery shopping or nah? <laughs> um... I wouldn't say scared is the the word. I would just say wow. apprehensive and just I just don't like that there are certain levels of people taking this different levels of serious. <laughs> and I really hate walking past somebody who's just like coughing up a storm and yeah. like not and they're like not they don't have a mask on or something like that. That that bugs me a lot so I I try and stay like at least 10 to 12 feet away from everybody Absolutely. and i've like got like you know everything right wrapped up, right. my hat on it's kind of cool because in a way i'm like oh you know you can't really see what i look I like mean, if i went into a store like this on the regular people would think i'm robbing it but just because we're in a pandemic it's it's flying you know right absolutely um the real sonia asked has tobin met you I think at this point, Tobin's probably megged everybody. But I never understand, like, why doesn't anybody ask, oh, have you megged Tobin? Like, that is definitely <laughs> That's the, more the real question. question, right? Like, that is way more interesting. And the answer is probably <laughs> accidentally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably accidentally. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it. Here uh, can you say hi to my best friend, Wilder? Wilder? Did I say that right? Wilder? Wilder. I have Wild. that little other Like W I L D E R Wilder? Yeah, Wilder. Wilder. Oh hey, hey Wilder. Wilder. Um if you could bring any other player to the Thorns, who would it be? Hmm. Oh, that's tough. Yeah. That's really that's tough. a tough one. <laughs> that's um a so I'm probably gonna say if we could get, um, I would really love to have a player like uh, Lara Dickerman in her prime. Y you know, like, <clears throat> not that she's not good anymore. She's amazing. Absolutely. Um, but, like, when she was 26, 27, if we could have her on the on the thorns playing 10 i mean she could play outside back she could play 10 she could play six she could play winger i mean she played everything and right. she's played for all the best clubs in the world and nobody ever talks about her but i really think she's legit i like that That's yeah thanks Very well said no that's <laughs> sad, sad, sad. Um, because i have one hand i'm holding it with oh uh, hold the phone with the oh other. yeah i need to afterwards i'll show you this little weird setup i have you're gonna oh yeah. good great it, it involves um, three books. One of them is Diary of a Wimpy Kid. So, um, Great, great book. Yeah. <laughs> um, 717 wants to know, what is your coffee order? Ooh. Well, what it used to be. <laughs> right. I guess. Um, I've actually been making, like, a lot of home matcha lattes. Oh, I love them. I'm, I make it every morning. I'm v very caffeine sensitive, which I know sounds... Like, you want to just roll your eyes so hard they might get stuck up there. But it's true. Like, if I have caffeine, I get, like, shaky and anxiety and all the things. Yeah. So, so I, what I usually do is I'll get some oat milk and I'll just, like, heat it up and then, like, whisk it so it's, like, extra frothy. And then I'll put my matcha in and, 
and Ooh. make sure it's extra frothy and then I'll have it every morning. What matcha do you use? Is there a specific brand? I just get, get it from Trader Joe's. Okay. Yeah. Any brand. Any they have these little packets. You could, they're like single serving packets. Okay. You can just pour right in. Nice. Do you put any sweetener in yours? No. I have a problem. You can put some honey in there. Yeah, I used to not, and now I'm, like, on the sugar kick. I'm going to stop, but, yeah, <laughs> I'm my Ugh, confessions. Um, let's see. What are you doing for your mental health to thanks, get through this? Thanks, Rach Calkins. Aw. I appreciate that shout-out for the new re remerch. Um, what am I doing for my mental health? Actually, yeah, Krista, you know. so puzzles have been great for my mental health like really great mm -hmm. but what I'm gonna start I actually um I'm gonna start doing a bit of meditation this week mm -hmm. and, okay. and I actually ordered this thing called a focus band to help me with it and because because if you can't like practice your men like practice meditation and, and making your mental health better in the middle of a pandemic like like, like it's the best time it's so the absolute best time like everyone's stressed everyone's anxious because you can't go outside mm -hmm. like you're worried about all your people you're worried about your job like there's just so many things you're worried about so it's it's a really great time to invest in your mental health and so I'm going to invest in mine by trying to uh work on some meditation and things like that and hopefully that translates over into helping with you know performance yeah. anxiety in games mm -hmm. and you know whether it's you know, talking in front of people yeah. on stage or all these things. Right. So I think that that's really cool and, and helpful. So I'll be, I'll be so Zen by the end of this. I like that. Exactly. I like that answer. I think I need to do more of it. I feel like I have, but sometimes I don't know. I think it's just my brain. <laughs> I, I'm being honest. Well, I mean, it's, a, it's, it's like, it's like a muscle, right? You got to, you got to keep working at it and like build up that, you know, build one layer at a time. So mm -hmm. it gets stronger and stronger, yeah. you know, otherwise it's just like you, you start meditating and then you're thinking about what you're having for dinner five seconds later. Right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and absolutely. then, the, and then the next day it's like 10 seconds later, you know, and then the day after that, it's maybe 20 seconds. Right. So, so you get better at it. I'm going to hopefully get to like five minutes goals i need to do that yeah i'm gonna yeah look at you for some motivation um caitlin sharp how does it feel to have one of the best goal line clearances in u.s women's national team history <laughs> uh i mean i feel real good about it because it helped us win a world cup so boom I'm, i love it <laughs> love that um megan who is your celebrity crush and you can't say denzel washington <laughs> Wait, what makes you think I was going to say Denzel? That's <laughs> epic. That's epic. Um, uh, I mean, like, who doesn't have a crush on Khaleesi from Game of Thrones? Like, Right. I mean, everyone has a crush on Khaleesi from Game of Thrones. Like, that's all that needs to be said, I think. Yeah. The queen. I mean, I'm just taking her out maybe of, like, last – like, maybe take her last season out. <laughs> <laughs> Because, like, maybe she went, like, down a little, but <laughs> up until season next to last, Khaleesi. I love it. That's a good answer. I'm with you on that. Thanks. Um, okay, and someone mentioned something about your march. So can you tell us about that? Yeah. Re? Um, <clears throat> honestly, these have been, have come, like, come in handy because of all my Zoom calls and all the things. Because otherwise, like, everybody would have to see my mullet. So, mm -hmm. but anyways, uh, me, Kristen Press, Tobin Heath, and Megan Rapino started a company called Re-Inc. And essentially the mission was to, um, you know, create a space for progress and art and creativity and um, try and reshape the status quo and, and recreate a world that we want to live in that is more equitable for, for all. And it, it kind of, you know, we've been dropping different um, 
lines and collections, but we've been calling them capsules. And we just dropped our BW capsule just last week, actually. And so this is part of that capsule. It's all, all the collection is black and white. <clears throat> unlike, unlike the world, I guess. Um, <laughs> and so we, we dropped like a full head to toe, you know, sweat, sweatsuit and pretty much you can mix and match anything that you want in the capsule they all go together mm -hmm. and what's really cool about it in my opinion is that everybody is able to create their own style and look and uh, wear, wear it however they want you know whether you want to wear your crop top with your hat and you know the shorts and uh -huh. get your tan on or <laughs> whether you know whether you're you're rocking it totally different like oversized clothes all day um there's something for everybody Oh, I love that. And people are loving it, too. There's so many comments on it. Oh, really? On yes. it. Oh, yeah. They love I'm it. I'm glad. I'm glad. Oh, that's really good. I love this. Um, I'm going to go check it out after our, our live chat. <laughs> Please do. Oh, yeah. Um, someone asked, favorite locker room memory? Ooh, I don't think I can share that one. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> yeah celebrations probably nope. a lot of, a lot I think of that's things. like one of those things is like what happens in the locker room stays, stays in the locker, in the locker room, room. Yeah. absolutely um someone said what's your favorite thing about having a fan base and do you get recognized often yeah we get recognized pretty often but in Portland it's it's really nice because I I think that everybody's like pretty chill about it mm -hmm. nobody nobody's like trying to come over and interrupt dinner and sit down with you and all those things um not that I mind talking to people at all I love I love chatting people up mm -hmm. um I think it's really cool getting to know people I actually <clears throat> really I mean I'm gonna be honest right now with everybody I really dislike photos and autographs like a lot a lot not because um I just like doing them but because it feels really transactional to me uh -huh. it feels like you know it's it's just like hey I want this and I'm giving it to you and and I really don't like that I really like chatting with people and seeing right. what they're doing and Absolutely. uh like having like a night like a conversation with people I would I, and I I understand that's what people want so I yeah. do I do it with a smile on and will continue to do it but I, I just really enjoy connecting with people Talking. more. Yeah, and asking them how they're doing and asking them questions and mm -hmm. seeing what they're about. Oh, yeah, that's what I remember about you. Any event, meet and greets. It was like conversation, talk, talk, talk. And then they were like, yeah, I talked to her. Oh, wait, but can I have a picture? Like, then they forget, too, because they have <laughs> such a great conversation with you. Well, so, I kind of think that's a better memory anyways, right? For Being sure talk and and connect yeah. with somebody I think a connection is so much more valuable than a picture or an autograph um mm -hmm. that's how I live my life is trying to connect with people and mm -hmm. you know keep those connections strong yeah. which is really hard in a pandemic so I'm glad right. we're doing this yeah we get to yeah. do this right now it brings us all together um let's see what else we've got um William asked did you always want to be a defender no Fuck no. Sorry. <laughs> Am I allowed to swear on here? Yes, I, of course. Every single year I try and get Mark, my coach, to move <laughs> me to nine or ten. Like, I'm trying to play center midfield or center forward. Put me in, coach. Right. Just give me a chance. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You're my favorite. <laughs> gosh. Um, let's see what else. Uh, good spots to check out in Pittsburgh. Oh, what kind of spots? Like coffee spots, food Ooh. spots. Come on, seven one seven K F R Y. <laughs> well, come on, seven one seven. What do you want from me? What you want? What you it's want? Hard. What kind of spots? It's hard because my mom's the best cook that I know, mm -hmm. and I know a lot of people say that about their moms, but I'm dead serious. No chance. <laughs> my mom is the best cook that I know, and so I don't go out a lot because when I go home, she cooks, and it's always amazing, no matter what. So. Uh, I try to just eat eat in in Pittsburgh, but there's so many good places downtown, and there's so many good places. Um, there's this one place in Lawrenceville that I really like. It's just like kind of a hipster. Young people live in that area, and there's a ton of bars and breweries, restaurants, all the things. 
Anyways, it's called, um, I think it's called B-52, and it's a Mediterranean place, and it's all vegan, but mm-hmm. even my family goes there because they like it, so. Oh, wait, what was the name? B-52. Okay, B-52. Pretty sure, Stop. I'm pretty sure. 717HX Fry. I forgot what the username was. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, 717K Fry. There you go. Yeah, and it was food. Um, awesome. <laughs> We, we got that, that question answered. Um, do you like Texas? Well, who doesn't like Texas, right? Right. No, Texas, there's so much to offer in Texas. Like, you can go to Austin and feel like you're in Portland still, or wow. you can go to Houston and feel like you're going to drown outside. Because um, <laughs> it's true. Uh, but but oh, I, I really do like Houston. And the thing that I liked most about – I didn't really like um, – like the landscape or the mm. weather or stuff like that that wasn't it for me but i really love the people the people oh, yeah. are lovely and they're just um super open and it's it doesn't have a big city feel in houston mm-hmm. with the people like the people don't have a big city feel like new york mm. or something like that so i really like that that aspect of, of houston no oh, i like that good answer mm. yeah, come back and visit us Yes, ma'am. <laughs> um, let's see. Favorite city you visited with the national team? Oh. I mean, you travel a lot, so. Yeah, I don't – I actually don't know, like, what cities I've been to with the national team or what cities I haven't, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. But um, Rome is always my favorite city in the world to visit. And and Stockholm, because I lived there for a while. Oh, right. Yeah. How long were you there for? Two oh, years. Yeah. Two years, yeah. yeah. But but Rome, because I think it's crazy that you can just, like, walk down the same street that Julius Caesar walked down, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> like, thousands of years ago. And then <laughs> – but then after yeah. you walk down the street that Julius Caesar walked down, <laughs> you <laughs> literally, like, take a left and get a huge slice of pizza and, and right. wine. Like, it's right. amazing. Right. You I know? Yeah, it's the best. And then yeah, Stockholm's probably the best summer city in the, summer city in the world. Uh, it's it's got like I think twenty hours of daylight in the summer, and then people are just everybody takes off. Mm-hmm. Nobody nobody's still working. Okay, you could have your favorite cafe closed for three months because the owners are just like, I want this is my <laughs> summer. And I want to take my time. <laughs> you know, uh, it's it's uh, just really great. Yeah. I want to, yeah, well, we're getting a little break now, huh? <laughs> um, Chase or Chas wants to know, which attacker do you find the most challenging to defend and why? To defend? Uh, mm. I don't know. Everybody presents different challenges, you know? Yeah. Like, Sam Kerr is really great because she is really smart about getting behind the line. But then oftentimes I'm not defending against her. That's more, you know, with center backs and stuff like that. Uh Um, If there's, you know, a wide player, then typically I'm going against the midfielders or the outside backs. So... Uh, Crystal Dunn is like really difficult to defend because she's shifty and fast. Um, but there's just plenty of good players, right? That are you know really great in the league. Love it. Um, Cameron wants to know. I like this one. What would you say to a senior who had their season canceled and is going to play college soccer? Ah, man, I'd say I'm so sorry. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. That stinks, but I think that there's just so much soccer ahead of you. There, and soccer isn't dependent upon playing in front of other people mm-hmm. or playing even with a team. That's what makes soccer so amazing. Is yeah. it? It's such a simple game. All you need is yourself and a ball, and hopefully a wall or a goal or something like that, and you can just go out and play by yourself. So I'm, I'm so sorry because I know that's devastating missing a senior season with all of your friends and having your family watch and doing all of those fun things but I think that I would just say hey keep trucking because you have so much more soccer to play you're gonna play in college and 
make sure you're ready. Love it. Take notes, y'all. <laughs> um, um, Bella wants to know, if you didn't play soccer, what other sport would you play? Oh, I would probably play um, hockey. I love hockey. I love so <laughs> so <laughs> Yeah, I would be like loving hockey. Like every time the U.S. women's national national hockey team plays, I'm like trying to watch them because I think they're so sick. Yeah, yeah, that's fun. We used to have a hockey team here. That's gone. Um, Too hot. Couldn't keep the ice cold. I- Pretty much. Humidity got the best of them. I think that's true. Oh, yeah. Um, another question. What have you been doing? Oh, no, we, we answered that. You've been puzzling during quarantine and reading. Uh-huh. Um, there was another one. What have you learned running basically your business with your march? Oh, my gosh. We could be here for hours, I right. think. Um, I think what I've learned is that customers are not, are not buying things. Um, they're, they're buying your brand. They're buying what you stand for and your mission. And so essentially they're, they're buying a little piece of our mission and and bringing it out into the world every time. And so when I think of products, I, we sometimes think like widgets or just, things right but what we found is that um especially in times like this people need a deep connection to be able to buy things um and what we've found is that people still want to buy our things even during this this time and i think that's really because they feel such a deep connection to what we're doing absolutely love it summarized it Hey. That's so important too, right? And anything that you do, I like that. Your what experience. summarizing? Experience. No, your answer, your experience, oh. and and your it's more than just buying an item or, or something. It's 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 more than that. So that's yeah, food for thought. Um, Sherry wants to know what happened to the cooking episodes. Oh, Kling's kitchen. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. So Kling is still whipping up all the things in the kitchen. It's just right. not being filmed right now, and they're just it, it. Like me in the kitchen is just as crazy without camera as it is with camera. Right. <laughs> the only the only difference is is I'm missing my my PIC Brittany Bartok. And oh, how's Brittany? <laughs> oh gosh, she's doing great. She just had her birthday. She's doing fine. I think she's holed up in a beach house, so like, oh, life <laughs> hard, right? Oh yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I've been. It, it, I'm just not able to do all of the really amazing editing and filming that oh, Brit does. So okay. I, yeah, I just, I've been cooking, but I don't have my Brit here to film <laughs> it. You should do a live. That's what I say. Oh geez, I don't know about that. <laughs> we'll cheer you on. Um, <laughs> Let's see. Okay, we're going to do two more. Um, someone else asked if you will get back on YouTube. So we'll see about that. Uh, what was it like playing against your U.S. Women's National Team teammates in the NWSL season? No, oh, I mean, to me, it's just like any other game. Like, I don't think, ooh, here comes my national team teammate. <laughs> you know, I think, oh, here comes the Houston Dasher here comes Chicago or Carolina or whatever else, you know? So it, to me, it, it's not about the individual players. Sometimes you have to do things to shut down special players and mm-hmm. kind of mitigate what they're really good at. But yeah, it's just mm-hmm. the Houston dash is coming to town and we got to right. take care of them. Right. Love it. High five. Um, let's see. Last one. Tell a story from your, Carolina days. OMG. <laughs> um, actually, the first thing that pops in my mind is we always have these senior speeches, and um, people take them very seriously because at UNC, we don't really care to have just a soccer career. We care to have growth in our personal development as well as soccer development and 
in school. Mm-hmm. So Anson and the coaching staff do spend many hours, whether we're doing leadership councils or reading books and having to tell them about it or memorizing quotes or grading each other on core values, right? So the senior speeches are very important. <clears throat> and um, I remember one woman stood up there and her name was Jamie Gilbert and um, she's hilarious, okay? She's the funniest person, but like I said, everybody t- takes these very seriously, but just because the speech or content is serious doesn't mean that there's some epically funny moments. And I remember her standing up there and she starts telling this story about when she was waitressing during her time at UNC. And she said that she'd been working at, let's just say Buffalo Wild Wings. And Mm -hmm. she had, you know, two uh, friends that were also waiters there. One was a guy, one was a woman. And they were all talking about it, talking about what was going on in their lives. And Jamie was kind of complaining about soccer and how she didn't want to do the running and all of these different things. And her waiter turned to her, her waiter friend, and he goes, girl, this is the life you chose. <laughs> and it was just like such a poignant, poignant mo- moment because it was incredibly deep, but it yeah. was also hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it's something that has always stuck with me, and I'll, I'll never forget that. And the point of the story and the point of the speech, it was one of the, the very best um, – speeches i've ever seen in my life yeah teaching moment too yeah oh my gosh so everyone's saying save this live save it save it. <laughs> guys here's my thing though we're being honest i haven't been able to i don't know how i don't know if it's because i don't know how to save it or if my phone is full but i don't have an option so can someone tell me what i can do to save this Somebody with some, somebody with some technological genius, please DM, uh, please, yeah, DM message anything. Yeah. I I I will follow your lead. I'll take your advice. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> but I don't know. But I was told that there should be like a little thing that pops up at the end. But maybe the live has they have been too long. I don't know. No, I think it should pop up at the end. You have right. to save it. Yeah, you have to save it right as you're. Xing out. Everyone's just laughing at me. No one's giving me advice. Y'all, come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You had to say yes when you exit. That's it. So should I exit you first? And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna exit, so <laughs> No! Yeah, come yeah, on. you got this. You got this. Okay, I well believe, thank you I so believe. much. You're the best. Thank you so no, much thank for being on So many people were just saying that you made their day and yeah, so thank you so much. Crazy times, but, you know. But, hey, I just want to say to you, Steph, thank mm-hmm. you for having me. Mm-hmm. It's been really fun. It's nice to catch up. And to everybody that's watching, thank you for tuning in. I know you have lots of things, other things that you could be doing, a.k.a. watching other lives. So uh, thank you for tuning in. Stay safe. Make sure that you're not that person that's coughing at the grocery store, uh, you know, Cover it up. Cover it up. Stay safe, stay healthy, and wishing you all the best. We love you, Meg. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye. All right, guys. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Thank you for all the questions. They were so great. Um, so yeah, let me know if you have any advice on how to how to save this because you all want this. So um yeah, tomorrow we'll have Guy Tori, comedian, actor. You've seen him in movies. Um, a lot of stand-up comedy acts. So yeah, I have some questions ready for him. I love you all. Stay safe. Have a great rest of the day. Go watch TV. Go snack. Bye.